Hello YouTube! So I do a quick video here. Um, before I start this video, I like to say yes, I do know the stock duplexer that's inside the Redivis RT97 GMRS 2 way repeater is only rated for 10 watts. Yes, I know this. So you're probably thinking, well, why are you saying 30 watts? Well, let me explain. I have a gentleman that's in my Zello channel that told me, I think it was like last summer he started doing it. It's almost been a year now, I believe. Coming up to about a year's time. He is running the Redivis amplifier into the stock duplexer in his repeater. I don't remember the exact wattage he was getting out, you know, between 20 to 30 watts way more than 10 watts is the point and it's been working fine hasn't had any problems it's about almost been a year yes I, I, I am aware there's a lot of variables in that situation and one of the variables is well how often is, re is his repeater being used is there a lot of traffic on his repeater and I, I don't know if I'd say a lot lot I'm sure it's getting used. I think he has it on a couple of the um, uh, network, uh, internet networks out there, um, like Canon One or or uh, or I can't remember the other one, Octane Dane or something. I, I can't remember. So it, it it's getting used, if if I recall correctly. But you're probably asking, well, how come it's not burning up his the the uh, duplexer? Well, we're going to find out what's inside this duplexer. Now, I did do a video a few months back. I took apart this 50-watt duplexer. And to, to compare right away, obviously, I can see some differences. One being the size. This duplexer is a huger, lot, lot huger than the other one. This is a 50-watt. One of the differences, obviously, is the coils or the wire the solid wire that they soldered onto the terminals so that's that's a lot bigger than what's on here now what's on here is still fairly fairly good size so I want to take this apart to see what's inside of this I know on this one if I remember right there was just a um, I don't think there's a lot of, of coils in, in, in this one, if I remember right. I'd have to watch the video. The video is on my YouTube channel if you want to watch it. So let's pull this apart. I already took the screws out so not to bore you. So let's take this apart. Now I'm going to take the top. This is where you adjust it. I'll have to probably retune this after I get this pad together, but that's all right. We're going to pull the top off here like that. Okay. Now. We're going to take this metal aluminum casing off, just like so. And there we are. Huh, that's interesting. We do have, I don't know if you can see that real well. They have coils wrapped around this plastic, I believe it's plastic, plastic insulator. And how this works is, when you put these are the tuning screws they go up and down in there so they use that plastic to want to keep the screw nice and straight inside this coil but they do have a coil wrapped around this plastic pretty good size wire though pretty good size gauge wire so yeah interesting um they also like, like i said the wire on the coils that hook up to the let me see if i can get that better here a pretty good size there maybe that's a better picture so hard to get the lighting right every time you do anything let's let's try let's go to the let's switch cameras I don't know if you can really see any of this let's go to the microscope this might be better okay this is much better so here is where you hook up the your um, cables and here's the wire that I was talking about can see that and then they also have coils 
this coil is soldered to ground, it looks like. That's soldered to ground. That's interesting. Let me see if I can turn on a light. See if I can get a little bit better. Oh, that might have made it worse. Eh, it did. We won't use that one. Okay. Maybe it's about the best we're going to get. Um, but it looks like they soldered this coil to ground. And they have it also coming off. Oh, yeah. See that? There's also a wire here coming off. Let's see if we can focus that better. Let's hold on here. Yeah, they got a wire coming off there. And that's off the center conductor of the connector. Huh. So this, let's figure this out. This is the low side. This is the low side here. This is where you'd feed in your amplifier. So this is the low side right here. So they do have that connector. Yeah, they do have a wire on there soldered. So they have it's kinda that's kinda interesting. That's that's really interesting because that's like a dead short almost to ground. I mean, they have they have a, a conductor soldered to the center conductor of the connector, and that's jumping right over to ground that this coil is soldered to. That's very interesting. So I guess, obviously, one thing that could happen, I don't think the other duplexer had that. In, I don't think the other duplexer had that um, inside there. Let me see if I can get this better. Probably not. Lighting's always tricky when you do a video. Let's see if we can get it. I don't know if that's better or not, but maybe it is. I don't at any rate, so I think I don't think it is. I think it's worse. I'm gonna leave that off. So that's very interesting. I don't think the other duplexer had a coil like this. So I suppose one per, 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 um, one potential thing that could happen if you pump in enough wattage that could heat up this coil, which could melt could melt this plastic, depending on how much usage your repeater is getting. And they all have that. So let's, are they all soldered? Yeah, they're all soldered that way. Huh. So this is the antenna out connector. That's the same way. Interesting. This is the high side. Receive side. Oh, wait. Nope. No, wait a minute. Receive side does not have a jumper over. They have it going through a capacitor. Huh. Same with this one. That's also going through a capacitor, capacitor. The antenna side, right there, no capacitor. Let's readjust the camera here. No capacitor, but they have a, a wire soldered right to the conductor. It looks like, yeah. There's the, there's the yeah, right there. Oh, no, wait, wait. Nope, there's the center conductor. They got that going to, gr to Okay, they got that going to a one of the coils here. So that's not. So was that one the same way? No, that one. That's interesting. That low side goes right there. You can see it yourself. That this is the low side. This goes right to the center conductor, right to ground. That is now I know this is like a for tuning wise, you know, a coil is going to act like a short when you use a meter. So tuning wise, we're talking frequencies, um, you know, that's a little different. But that's very interesting though. So if you pump in enough wattage, that could get that coil hot. And that could melt. That could melt this. I believe it's plastic. I think it's plastic. Let me see if I got. Let me see if I got a, a knife here. I can kind of, I don't think it's, I think it's plastic. I don't think it's porcelain. I'm pretty sure it's plastic. Yeah, it's plastic. Definitely plastic. I don't know if you saw me do that or not. Probably not. I probably didn't do it on camera. I took my knife and I just kind of 
shaved it. So that's definitely plastic. That's definitely plastic. So, so that could be a potential problem if you pump enough wattage or don't let the repeater cool down. That could melt. This could melt this. Could it start a fire? Well, I, I, I don't know. Could start a fire. Um, cause I, mean, I don't want to say that, but this, this is inside of an aluminum case. So it goes like this when you put it together. So it is inside of an aluminum case. It goes like that. So yeah, interesting. Very interesting. Um, pretty good size gauge wire. I'd have to figure out what gauge that is. You could put a lot of pretty pretty good amperage through that wire. I mean, it's not as big, obviously, as the 50 watt. Let's see if I can get this in here. You know, not as big as that wire. But fairly, fairly big. Um, but that's very interesting how they have that. I'm, I'm really surprised they have that that way. I, I, I guess... You know, yeah, that that could that could heat that up. That could very well heat that up. Now, obviously, too, another thing. This wire here, I suppose, could get hot enough where it could. Let's see if I can focus this better. You know, there's there's some insulation on there that could. I suppose that could get hot enough, and if you get it warm enough, that could melt that. So, um, on the antenna out, which is going to be this one here, this is the antenna out right here. Let's focus. This is the antenna out. So, what does that look like? Well, that's a little different. That does that conductor goes to this coil, which goes through here. Um, of course, these coils here do hook up to the coils to here. So if you get enough wattage, I suppose they could get pretty hot. Again, this is seems to be plastic. Could melt that. I suppose could get hot enough where it could maybe melt that. I mean, it's possible. But yeah, that's very interesting. Um, we, we, we may have to do some testing on this. I may have to hook this up and we're going to do some thermal camera readings and wattages and maybe SWRs and we can have all kinds of fun. So we, 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 may, we may do that. I do, obviously, I have an amplifier so I can, I can pump some wattage through here and all that good stuff um, and see how hot this gets. But, yeah. Hmm, interesting. I don't think the other duplexer had that. So that, that could melt. Like I said, that could get hot enough where it could melt that. So, but at any rate, I just kind of want to, let's go back to the other camera. I just kind of want to show you um, that. You can kind of see an overview. They added some capacitors on this side. This is the high side, receive side. Receive side, antenna, low side. But that's interesting on that low side how they have that. Maybe you can see it better here too. They have that wire on there. Interesting. So, you know, like I said, obviously there's a gentleman in my Zello channel that's been pumping 20 to 30 watts in this thing and it's been working fine. Um, and I could see where it could because. Like I said, these 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 coils are, are pretty big. I mean, now obviously they made this small to fit inside the you know it's small because of the wattage, but also they got to fit inside the inside the uh, repeater too. But um, very interesting. Like I said, we may have to do some videos on this and maybe pump in. You know, I'll hook that amplifier up to a dummy load and we'll put the thermal camera on it and see how hot it gets and. We can check. We can try to monitor uh, the SWR and probably the well, obviously the wattage. That might be something I might be able to rig up. 
depending on if I can get all this in the in, in the frame of the picture we may have to run that but um, but yeah so I just kind of want to do a quick video on this while I still have the repeater apart so like I said maybe tuning wise um, maybe effects tuning wise uh, it's hard to say I, he you know the, the gentleman in my Zettel channel said it's been working fine there's been no problems whatsoever so it's been almost a year I mean I know sometimes they underrate things so it's I you know just for safety reasons so maybe you know what's the real rating of this well it's hard to say you know they may underrate it just to keep it in the safe level but uh but anyway I just kind of want to point that out so if you have any questions or comments please post down below and please subscribe and thank you and have a good day